Today I'm going to be explaining a backrooms level called Red Rock Canyon. Now this level has just been found by two people and there is so many strange, dangerous, and just insane things that I really don't even know where to start. I'm just going to get into the explanation. Also, go sub to my second channel, Brugly2. I upload every day. Thank you. So just like I said, this level was found by two people. Their names are Jericho and Marty, or as I'm going to call them in the video, J and M. All the information, all the pictures, all the names and places on these maps in this video come from J and M, who are apparently the only two people that have found this specific backrooms level. The level has been nicknamed Red Rock Canyon, and it's been classified as a class 5 difficulty, and it's thought to be sentient because J&M believe that the entire level is alive. Like it's literally controlled by itself, even though it looks like it's just out in nature. The level isn't fully dangerous in every spot, but it is very dangerous in some localized spots, and I'll get into all that right now. But first, I have a letter from Jericho that describes the basic danger and the basic vibe that he got the second they got sent to the level, so I'm gonna read that to you right now. To whom this may concern, I'm writing this letter with an urgency that cannot be understated. I, along with my cohort, Marty, have been in this abhorrent place for what we've determined to be over a year now, and we've been unlucky enough to stumble across an undiscovered, to our knowledge, world. I have no idea how this place came to be or why it's here, but we'll attempt to explore, document, and report back with all possible information that can be provided about this location. We've been at location for just under three hours, and we don't have much to report at this exact time. Our arrival left us at the mouth of a very deep, red, rocky canyon. It seems to be nighttime, although a red glow permeates from the rocks of the canyon. As I stated earlier, we'll have more information soon, and God willing, a rudimentary map of the locations we'll explore. Hope this reaches someone that knows what they're doing. Best, J and M. So yeah, attached with that letter were all these pictures and stuff that we're getting now, as well as some other notes and that kind of deal. We still don't know much about this level, but we're just going to get into all we do know. As of right now, the level has three distinct zones. There's 100% more zones, but these are just the ones that have been documented and mapped out by J and M. The first part of the level has been nicknamed the Mouth. And the mouth is this very beginning part where there's this lake. And here at this lake, there's lukewarm water that kind of leads into the opening to the canyon. The water itself has a weird type of fish in it. The fish is transparent, and you can see its organs through its skin, which is pretty strange. The fish glow red at nighttime, and you can hardly see them in the daytime, which is a specific distinction that JNM made in another letter. Now, this river that leads from this little lake area has been nicknamed the Drink, and it leads into the mouth of the canyon canyon, but it stops about a mile into the canyon. The river is very shallow and it's just about knee deep, and it cuts through very tall canyon walls. And the canyon walls here at the mouth are very huge and they're very tall and cast steep shadows, but you could climb up to the top of them with pretty minimal effort. And if you do climb up them, you'll be able to look down into the canyon and see things much easier, but you can't really get anywhere because it's just flat up there. Walking into the canyon floor itself isn't dangerous at first. It just seems like a normal empty canyon with a little bit of water. But about a mile into the canyon, that water starts to trickle out and disappear, and it'll turn into just a rock floor. And this is where the whole level starts to make less and less sense, and it gets very dangerous. Trust me. So at this one mile mark, the canyon splits off into two paths. One on the left, and one on the right. If you go to the right, you'll start to notice really weird rock formations on the walls. It looks like sharp, jagged, pointy rocks that are kind of angled towards the middle of the path. And the path itself gets skinnier as you go up in this way, which makes it pretty hard to walk through. And this section of the level has been named the teeth because the rocks kind of look like teeth. But this specific part is very dangerous because at random times, the wall of the canyon in this teeth zone will close in and touch each other and then open back up like normal. JNM described it as kind of like a Venus flytrap closing in on a bug, how it just slowly closes in and then opens back up. The first time it happened, Jericho barely made it out of the walls before they closed in on him. We obviously have no idea why this happens, but it might be how the canyon eats food 
They did say that they thought the canyon was alive, so who knows. We have no idea what's past the teeth since they had to run back before they literally got eaten, so the map on that trail ends, but now we're gonna go to the left trail, which is past the mouth, past the drink, and then to the left of the teeth, and this is the third and final discovered location so far. And this area opens up into an even flatter and wider canyon type zone. There are canyons, crags, crevices, literally just every steep, cavey, holy thing. And this zone has been nicknamed the Spine because of all the sharp mountain ridges and rocks that run through it. It can be extremely dangerous if you aren't watching where you're stepping because you can fall into a cave or a hole or down into a sharp spike below you. And at the end of this area is as far as J and M have explored because when they got here, they noticed two very weird things. The first thing was a massive snake-like creature that was crawling slowly under their feet through the cracks and crevices and the holes in the canyon below them. At first, they didn't even notice this snake because it was moving so slowly, but they assume it has anywhere from two to four mouths along its body because they saw different ones on its entire body. And it's the exact color and texture of every other rock and thing here. And the only reason they even saw it was because its tail was sticking out of the side of the cliff. Maybe the teeth section from earlier is a part of the snake. Maybe the canyon walls don't close. Maybe it's one of the snake's body's mouths. Who knows? Let me know in the comments what you think about that. The second thing they noticed is buildings of some kind, like man-made structures on this random level. And these buildings kind of look like ones you'd see around a mining area from real life. They're medium-sized and made out of metal. And around the buildings, there are telephone wires and railways and weird storage tank things in the ground. And the pictures that you're seeing right now are the only ones they felt comfortable taking because to get to the places where the buildings and the wires are, you'd have to climb over the spine and up the cliff a little bit to get to the houses and the storage containers on the canyon wall above. As of right now, we have no idea if they're mining stuff or what these structures are for or what's being stored in these giant vats. We have literally no clue. And we also have no clue why there's a giant snake that runs around that looks just like a mountain. But when more information is available, I'll be sure to let you know. So this map here is just a basic outline of the explored parts of the level so far. As you can see, it starts with a mouth that leads up to the drink until the canyon splits off into two zones, the teeth and then the spine. And where the map ends is as far as J and M were able to map and document because they didn't want to get eaten or fall and land on a spiky rock. So if we get more information about this canyon, I'll make sure to let you all know. There'll definitely be a part two. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. That was Backrooms Level Red Rock Canyon. This was an entire level in lore that I made up myself. Hope you enjoyed it. This was probably one of my best levels, if not my best level. I really had fun making this and making all the images and making all the notes and stuff. It was a great time, kind of like an ARG in a way. If you want a part two, let me know. Comment Red Canyon Brugley if you're watching this far. That way I know you're a real one. Thank you all for everything. Love and appreciate you. I'll see you later.